Hello, hello. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are creating a custom stocking. So you are going to need a low temp glue gun, sharp scissors, whatever fabric of choice. I'm using blue fur and comic strip and a stocking to stick it on and glue sticks. So I'm marking where the uh, fur ends so I know how much to cut. Then you're gonna toss your stocking onto your fabric and trim around, leave excess to glue your sides together. Do not cut it super close. I would say leave at least um, a little over half an inch, maybe, maybe three fourths an inch over. Um, but even if you leave more, you can always cut it away. So leave extra and then you can cut it away. If you leave too little, you'll have to cut all over again. Um, so cut out your patterns. This is super duper simple. Not hard at all. Just lay it on top, cut around it, and leave excess on the side. Okay, so now we have our pieces for the bulk of the stocking. We're going to take our fabric and we're going to glue that to the bottom. I lined it up, make sure it's going to sit where I want it to, added the glue and stuck it right back to where it was sitting previously. And then I'm gonna flip this over and do the same exact thing on the back, making sure the front of the fabric and the back of the fabric lines up. You, you will have like a slight seam, but it's not horrible. And mine will be covered up. So if yours won't be covered up, make sure you do it a little neater. But I knew mine would be covered up, so I didn't really care to make it neat. After you finish the bottom, you're going to go to the very top. And you're going to glue your top sides together. This is going to ensure that everything lines up. This helped me um, make sure I maintain my shape and it gave me the structure of the stocking that I needed. After I finished those top sides, you see me here gluing down the side of the stocking and lining everything up. I'm gluing every, I'm gluing the fabric together. I'm not gluing the fabric to the stocking. And then I noticed here that my fabric was sticking out a bit, so I decided to glue that part to the stocking just to make sure it maintains its shape. So there are always simple fixes if you feel like it's not looking the way you want it to look. At this point, I needed to cut out my fur for the top of the stocking. If you have fur, you want to be sure that you are cutting the backing and not the fur because you don't want a blunt cut and you want to make sure that your fur is still furry and it's not cut across like uh, some bangs. <laughs> Here you'll see all the fabric is still there and intact. Okay, so here we have everything cut out. Now we're going to line up our stocking to glue that to um, the fur. So you're gonna flip the top part of your stocking inside out and you're going to glue the bottom of your fabric to the inside of the top of your stocking. Does that make sense? Lord, I hope it made sense to you. <laughs> So right now I'm putting glue on the bottom of my fabric because it needs to be glued to the inside of the stocking um, when I flip it the right way. Okay, so you glue that all around. You flip your stocking right side out and you glue the top the same way. Glue it and tuck it in, glue it and tuck it in. And that's basically what I did on the bottom. It was just easier to have the top of the stocking open and gluing it down because it was easier um, just to manage with the glue and I hope you guys understood that um, because I did lose a little bit of footage my camera cut off so I didn't have the footage of me gluing it around but it's still very simple um, the process is still very simple after I did that I glued the top of the um, the cuff on the stocking to the uh, fabric just so it wouldn't move I 
Okay, so then I went around and I trimmed off all of the little threads that were peaking the excess fabric. Um, make sure not to cut, cut too close because you don't want to cut the glue away. Um, but I'm extra, so I didn't want to stop there. You can definitely stop there and just have your custom stocking. Just have fur at the top or whatever fabric you chose. Um, but I'm extra, so I wanted to go a little bit further. <laughs> and I decided to trim the stocking in the same fur that's at the top. I did not measure my pieces. I just cut them and glued them on. Um, so if you decide to go a step further and you're extra like me, please let me know. <laughs> because um, it's not Christmas without furs and glitters and all of the things. <laughs> so um, I glued all of my uh, fur trimming around and that is basically it. Um, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I hope I explained everything well. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the uh, comments below. I read everything, I reply to everything and I am so grateful that you guys watch my videos and keep coming back for my DIYs. I appreciate it so much. Until the next video, um, thank you. I appreciate you. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your year. And happy holidays. Bye.